the last time I sat in this seat, I had a wee pop at the Tories and the Lib Dems, and uh, you know, it's just to get these wee things off your chest. Makes you feel better. I was deadly serious in what I said, but it was a pop at the Tories and, and a lot of fun. But this morning, I was down at St Mary's Church in Abercrombie Street. It's the church that I was baptised in. <coughs> Excuse me. And I picked up some of the Catholic newspapers. And this one in particular is called The Universe. And I read something that it prompted feelings within me that I did not know was there. I'll show you the, the headline in a minute. I've always practiced tolerance. Um, I know that there's a big Celtic Rangers thing going on. And, uh, we sort of hate each other for 90 minutes. But I don't bear any ill will towards people of any other religion, be it the Christian, Christian religions or any other religion. I don't bear any ill will against people of no religion. Everybody should be allowed to practice in freedom and safety, whatever they want to practice. So I found myself this morning with these feelings and the only way I can describe it really is feelings of hatred. It didn't last long but it was there. And the reason for that was this. Three priests were among 58 people who were killed during an attack on a Catholic church in central Baghdad. Now, why should anybody want to do that? Why should people practicing their religion, probably very gentle people, be subjected to a machine gun attack like that? Now, it was Muslims that perpetrated the attack. Islamic fundamentalists, Islamic terrorists, whatever you want to call it. But the thing that really surprised me, and it should have surprised me, is the fact that that, which occurred on the 31st of October, just a few days ago, wasn't reported in the British press. It wasn't on the British media. I got it from the Observer, that's a Catholic weekly paper. Now, the, the reason that I'm so angry is it's not the first time this has happened. There was a, an attack on a Catholic church in one of the Muslim African countries on Christmas Eve last year, and I think there was something like a hundred people massacred, kids as well. Men, women, kids, nuns, priests. And again, the only people that reported it was the Catholic newspapers. Now, what the hell is going on in this world? Why is it that we have to turn the other cheek only to get that shot at as well? I've never really been pacifist in the respect that uh, I believe that if the cause is good enough and it's worthy, then you fight for it. But I don't believe in the, the Catholic churches and other organised churches uh, turn the other cheek policy. There is times in this life when you have to stand up and fight back. I have been very tolerant all my life simply because my family came from Ireland and the Highlands of Scotland. The generations ago when they came to Central Belt of Scotland, I know that they must have faced some terrible discrimination. There must have been uh, violence directed towards them. But we settled on. 
and the Catholic, the Irish and the Highland communities have made their mark in Scotland. Um, we're at a point now where the only time it rehearses it says is during Celtic Rangers games or when there's all parades. But it's nothing to what it was years ago. So I don't tolerate intolerance towards anybody and, I'm, and I've argued with people who have shown uh, racial hatred or religious hatred. I've, done, I've argued with them in the past. But I felt a real deep anger this morning and I felt that I wanted to lash out when I read this this morning. Now that's people with the same faith as me, same beliefs as me, been mowing down in the street and there isn't anybody doing anything about it. Now that was in Baghdad. Baghdad where, in my opinion, uh, an illegal invasion took place. Saddam Hussein had to be removed. I don't, but I don't believe that the, the war was really justified. But it took place. That's, in, that's history. The troops went out there, and God bless everyone else, and a lot of them died. A lot of them would have been Christian boys. A lot of them, American, British, for the most part, would have been Catholic boys. They were out there trying to free our people from a dictatorship, a despot, only for that despot to be replaced by people who think nothing killing, massacring dozens of people because they're a different logic, because they're Catholics. I came out of the car this morning absolutely raging. I don't know how I managed to drive up the road to St Mary's without I ramming into something. I was beside myself with anger. And God forgive me, when I get out of the car, I have to see a, a young Muslim woman just walking up the road there. Seen a Muslim woman walking about thousands of times, never affected me in the least. But I felt a real hatred towards that young girl, and I'm thoroughly ashamed of that. It wasn't actually directed at her, I didn't say anything, I didn't do anything. But it was a feeling, I had just read this. It was a feeling that was in me, directed towards what she actually represents. Islam. Now I've seen a, a, a program on TV yesterday, it was a news program, a, a young Islamic woman got 15 years for attempted to murder an MP. And there were protests outside the court. These fundamentalists, now I've heard no banners saying Islam will dominate the world. Well, they're going to do that unless somebody stops them. And if you keep on ca killing Catholics at the rate they are doing, then they can probably expect a Catholic backlash. Because no, everybody's as tolerant as I am. And if somebody who, with my background, feels the hatred that I felt this morning, then surely to Christ, somebody must sit up and take some notice of this. The UN must step in to protect the people in Islamic countries who have been cruelly executed because they are of Christian denomination, mostly Catholic. Do they have to have a another crusade whereby Christians eventually stand up and say to themselves, we are taking no more? Another incident, incident like this, and we are going to retaliate. Is that really what people want? That's what's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. You can only turn the other cheek so many times. And then you start pulling the guns out. You start pulling the swords out. And there's going to be wholesale slaughter all over the place. And then you get a situation again where the ordinary decent Muslim community in places like Glasgow here could be the recipients of the backlash. And they and themselves have done nothing. And maybe by doing nothing, they are probably guilty as well. You don't hear a lot of 
protestations coming from the Muslim community about things like this. Keep your self-preservation, surely must inspire me to stone up and, and, and protest in some manner about what their fellow Islamic fundamentalist terrorists are doing across the world. It's only, it's only going to be a matter of time before they attack a Catholic church here in Glasgow, say. I don't think that'll come. Certainly no in my lifetime. Because if that does happen, then you'd probably find a hole in the ground where that mosque is down at the, the Clyde side. There would be a massive backlash and not one Asian or Muslim in this country would be safe. I don't want that to happen. I want people to coexist. But at the same time, I have been moved to such anger that I would probably advocate defending myself a bit more robustly than we are doing right now. I think the Catholic Church should be doing more. But the Jesuit spirit that you see exists in the Catholic Church. The Church Militant, as the Church of Scotland used to say, the Christians must, must stand up, make such a protest that the Islamics would back off. If that doesn't happen, then I think that there will be wholesale slaughter across Europe. Because Europe will take Islam so far and then they'll stop it. And these people who are safe in their Islamic countries hiding away, banging out the gun, shooting people and then hiding away again. They should start realising that their brothers and sisters in Europe are no safe while they are acting the way they are acting. The Catholic Church's language is too soft. The Catholic Church's language is too conciliatory. What the Catholic Church has today is say to their colleagues in, in the Muslim world that this had better stop. You don't ask for it to stop. You tell them that it has got to stop. Because if it doesn't, then God help every Muslim that actually lives in Europe and in America right now because they have been made targets by the scumbag idiots that think nothing they've gone into in a church congregation. And God forgive me again, but if there were retaliation tomorrow, I probably wouldn't feel too sorry. Now that's something my conscience has to deal with. But that is what we are being driven to. So the advice that I would give to anybody in the Muslim persuasion is get a hold of these radicals. Get rid of them. Because if they don't, the normal, general Muslim population are probably going to suffer. I am absolutely beside myself with anger. I delayed making this until I had settled in a wee bit. When I started to date this morning, my language was coarse. I was for taking action that my God would have shipped faith. But the anger's still there and it's still genuine. I hope it's a bit more directed now. But I hope this is the last time we ever see something like this. Because if it's not, and God help, what happened, what happened to the, the, the Muslim population in Europe in the years to come because the Christians are always standing to turn their